Hello, my name is Pedro. Let's write some cool drums using Python and Scamp. From Scamp, we're going to import everything. And Scamp uses something called Session. It's an object. This object is basically a studio. It has, it has the, the musicians, it has the instruments, and it has the clock, the session clock. The first thing I'm going to do after creating my session is seeing which available MIDI outputs I have. So down here we have the available MIDI outputs and I'm using something called Loop MIDI which I'm going to put the link in the description as well which is a virtual MIDI cable and I created this port called Scamp Out to send information from Python to Reaper. I have Reaper open right here as you can see this is my microphone this is just something so I can mess around with a, a little MIDI controller and this is my MIDI out and I put the, the drum sound here this is also a free plugin empty power drum kit and now I'm going to create my drum set and I know that the channel, the part that is being used by Scamp Out is part 2 so I'm going to create my drums not my dreams, my drums new and there is type completion I'm going to do new MIDI part the first parameter in Scamp is the name of the part this can be anything and the second parameter is the the MIDI port that's going to carry the information to, to my external program. Now I'm going to create a function called playhead. So I have a drum map right here. This is the, the MIDI value on the left, the number, and on the right we have the drum part. So I want the close hi-hat is number 42. What I'm going to do is I'm going to iterate over the range 8 and I'm going to play the hi-hat on 8 notes so in Scamp you ask for the instrument to play a note it's play note the MIDI value is 42 it's the, the close hi-hat the second parameter is the volume which varies from 0 to 1 I'm going to put 1, this is the loudest and then the duration of the note in beats I want half a beat so I'm going to put 0.5 if I call this function, you, you should hear the drums being played through Reaper. You see the scamp out is armed. I have the drums here. So let's listen to it. There we go. We have a simple hi-hat. And if you want to change the tempo, you can go here in session and put just put tempo equals whatever you want. I'm going to do 130. So yeah, we have a simple hi-hat. Now let's do a simple backbeat of bass drum and snare drum. I'm going to call play backbeat. And I want the bass drum on the first and the third beat of the bar. And I want the, the snare drum on the second and the fourth. So what I'm going to do is Python always starts on zero, so we have zero, one, two, three. And I want the bass drums on zero and two. So if I, I can put like this, put a list. If the value of, of I is in this list zero and two, I'm going to ask the program to play notes. 36 1 1 else I'm going to ask the program to play a snare drum which is 38 1 1 let's listen to our back beat now we could do something like this to play the hi-hat and play the back beat but this won't work because the way Scamp works, it, it actually plays the first line, so it's going to play these notes, 
and then it will move on to the playback beat call. So we actually go going to have eight hi-hat hits and then the backbeat. The way we resolve this is using something called fork. Like this. If we fork the, the functions will play simultaneously. But if we just do fork like this, we're going to have an error because it's going to try to play the functions and it will stop automatically. The, the clock will stop. So there's something called wait for children to finish. Because what this fork function does is to create like child clocks to the main clock to the function. We need to wait for the children to finish before we finish the entire session. Let's listen to it. Nice. If we, we want to loop this forever uh, while true, so that's really cool, but let's do something a bit cooler than that. Let's introduce the, uh, the random library. Now what I'm going to do is every time the hi-hat will hit, I'm going to introduce this p variable, which is probability. Is random dot uniform zero one. We have a random number between zero and one. Now I'm going to say if p is greater than thirty percent, I'm going to play the I had as it is. It's simple. Else I'm going to do a double stroke on the hi hat like this. So now as you can hear we have a double tap on the hi-hat and it's random, it's not something that is predictable, it's going to happen at random. I'm going to do the same thing for the snare and the, the, the bass drum and I'm going to, to do like the PB which is probability bass drum, random dot uniform zero one. So if PB is greater than let's say 0 0.3 also I'm going to play the bass drums as it is and else I'm going to do a double tap on the bass drums and instead of one beat it's going to last for half a beat also on the snare I'm going to do PS equals random dot uniform zero one if ps is greater than zero dot let's say two no let's say five i want the snare to have more diversity and else i'm going to play a dotted eight notes followed by a sixteenth note zero point seven five zero point two five which adds up to one Let's listen to it, see uh, see how it sounds. You see what I did wrong? I just copied the bass drum here. It should be a snare. So as you can see we can do a lot of cool stuff with few lines of code. This is just a simple demo to create backbeats and I'm going to show you a program I wrote and it's right here. And what it does it's basically the same thing, it has a hi-hat, backbeat, but the difference is I alternate between a bar of seven eight and a bar of nine eight and it's random. So when the symbol being hit is the hi-hat, we have 7-8. And when we have the right bell, there's a bar of 9-8. And it changes randomly, so we have 70% chance for the hi-hat, 7-8, and 30% chance for the, the right bell and the 9-8. Let's listen to it.
as you can hear it changes randomly between one and another and i actually have a video that i'm going to link up right now of me jamming to to this and yeah that's it if you have any questions hit me up i would love to talk to someone about this so if you have any questions just yeah hit me up bye bye